Let's start the So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. No. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Holy 
Holy shit. That's really him. Oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> It's so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Yeah, I'm just a little nervous. You should be. This reunion's being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey Gabe. Riley, meet my sister Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking.
You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Is there something here? I also want all the... Mom. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Does anyone actually sit in the decorated store chair? How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. This gnome has been places. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. <laughs> hey ladies, what are you drinking? <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. Nothing. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? About three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Yep. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I just... Well, here we are. The phone is on. Wow. Good to know. So, stuff just explodes around here every now and then. Sometimes you can feel it all the way down here. Intense. Wow. Just... wow. <laughs> uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. <laughs> I loved it. Every time I see Molly in the tops, I think they get even better. Awesome. So glad you liked it. I think it was even better than their set in LA. You saw that video, right? Yeah. That one was so good. But local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. 
Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like, zero bees. Chill. You? Yeah, don't know yet. I was, um... I was wondering if you wanted to grab dinner tomorrow, maybe? Oh, totes. I'll text Katie and Mark and see if they're down. Yeah, totally. But would you want to maybe go just the two of us? Oh. Like, like a date. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <sighs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can... show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. Uh, mostly in the evening. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash I job just to buy us something to listen to. More times. <laughs> it's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. I restarted the story. I completed it earlier today. Oh, uh... Uh, 
Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now, which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait, are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Considering I've been here for like a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. <laughs> so the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. Yes. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... The nerdiest thing I've ever seen. And I owned two Schoolhouse Rock albums. <laughs> I'd lie and say it was for my work, but... No, it's totally for fun. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well... I the stores closed. Last night, so I was I thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. Different choices. I don't even know if he still listens See to records. See if it's really He different. does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. <clears throat> Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? It's over there. No idea. Stuff leaves place. stuff all over the place. Wait, is that the hold list? Oh, yes, do it. Oh, yeah, do it, do it. Uh, move. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away, if we can find it. Give me a hand. Any luck finding that cat toy? <laughs> Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, 
There's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Nothing happened different yet, so we have no clue. Uh, are we standing in front of the thing? Looks like a toy could live here. What if? He exclusively listens to Smash Mouth. Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Maybe in the junk box. Ah. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Should have known. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. Okay. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You just... No, dude. I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. You okay? Um. Sorry, I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Oh, like that. Oh, yes, he did it wrong. Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, Brian. my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? 
Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. Yes. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Tag along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Uh, she can choose between Steph and uh, I am that guy who just I should check in do you mind <laughs> no yeah of course what up monster slayer Thanor hey one week to the LARP you stoked hell yeah had a boy no we gotta talk road trips next it's a long drive to Denver are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's got to be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Last time I did tell Gabe how I will keep eating sick. You good? Yeah, fine. Just thinking about you as the Hobbs to Ethan's Calvin. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. Except you're, you know dating his mom. <laughs> Clearly you haven't read my Calvin and Hobbes fan fiction. Wow. What? What do you say we get you settled in? Uh. So, this is what a mining town looks like. I thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. Mine here? What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. She was uh, 11 yeah. when her... We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Uh, Sounds like it. Look at this. Separated. Jed! Um, hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. And, um, it's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Eight years Mostly after this happened, so 19. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> He just about wet himself, waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? 
Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. You do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight-up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. Yeah. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. Sorry, let me try that again. This is the best you could do? Much better. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe, I... Thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. And Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expect it? You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Like, shut up. I mean, obviously you're like a man, dude. But you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Thanks. Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit.
feels just like old times. Oh no. Stop it. I can't. It's too late. What even is that? You're way off tempo. <laughs> you just gotta let the beat flow through you. <laughs> Your turn. Give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend! Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right uh, now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking uh. to you.
I didn't... It's okay. This is just fucking psycho. You can both go fuck yourselves. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I'm okay. Yes. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack.
No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Huh? So Mac was reading Riley's text? Boyfriend of the year. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Cool. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Well, if... Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. Huh. They've really changed the art style since I read these. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Wait, what? Is that a real live... dead deer? Is that... a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. I have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no! Hey, don't! <sighs> Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe.
What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. <laughs> Oh god. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. Crazy how much we've changed. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Let's let's try not to find the guitar. See what happens. Ugh. I'll finish oh. this later. Then you couldn't get out, so no fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Dress like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In 
in a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Yeah. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Now there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. <sighs> I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Max's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. But does he think I'm cooler than Gabe? I'd say you have a shot. Gabe plays dirty though. Like he secretly teaches Ethan to swear. Beef pie special, watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep.
So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh... Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work, if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Yes, I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's... Kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jet will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. 
might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get used to how they operate. Starting over from scratch like this? Right. Fucking yeah, terrifying is what it is. Me. You're telling me. Take some minutes. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Fill in the ropes, though. Yeah, Starting over from scratch like the this? Do things is just so fucking terrifying is what it is. <laughs> Idiosyncratic. I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Yeah, there's... Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. That looks radioactive. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved... I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask.
Is there any punctuation in the song title? Nope. Okay. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Hmm. You've got two questions left.
the band name is on the top. That's the bell.
Uh, a cop under the cop. Oh. Very nice. You got that again. Uh, bad name. That's a person's name. Does the band name have a person's name in it? Nope. Okay. Oh, Last question. Bad. Yeah, all right, I know. No punctuation. Personal question. Hmm. Personal. Well, it has four wheels. The black and the last thing. Does the band name have a symbol in it? like something that's not just a letter. Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Nice. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. 
Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name doesn't have a person's name in it. The band name does have a symbol in it. It's not a one-word band name. No punctuation in the song title. The band name is on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Oh. This is not it. This has a symbol, but no band name. Uh, this is four words, no punctuation. That one is not it. Uh, also not it. Uh, it's not this, mm, it's not that, it's not that, do this, this one is not it, this one is not it. It be the fuck it all step. I the dogs. What fuck it all deluxe? <laughs> fuck. Nice one. I'm drinking. should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Sure, I know. Oh, hey. Someone made a course about my life. From you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know?
You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Yeah. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. No. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. <laughs> Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> No, oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. Right? <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. Starting over from scratch like this? Fucking terrifying is what it is. Damn, was that drank out of wine? Did I come on too strong? It was bold. I'll give you that. Hey, Alex. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? 
Who told? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ducky apparently lost his favorite whiskey. Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? Oh, when I left, he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. <laughs> okay, thanks. I will. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Wait, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. (laughs) (sighs) You know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. (laughs) Oh, wow. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Actually, not yet. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. It was in the couch? Yeah, in the couch. Ha! Let's check the gold frame too. And I didn't do that, I think. Upstairs in Gabe's couch. Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. Well, it's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? (laughs) She's a go getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, No. No. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. (sighs) I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. My dad was in the service. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Thanks for driving me home, Haven. You're the nicest cop I've ever met. Whoa! Hey! Great. Another wipeout. Hike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... S- Holy shit, is it snowing? Yep. Sure is. Is he angry at me? Damn boys, always fighting. I know. Time to grow up. It's getting better for sure. Christ, she did that to that guy's face? Steering clear. Aw, I'm already making friends. <laughs> oh, baby. 
This one's from yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you see it here. Yeah, uh. Ah, damn it. There's something. Uh. <laughs> I have some advice. I think I'm okay. Are you done now? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. What if I don't tell him? Let's try it. Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I Did you rehearse that move? No. <laughs> Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. <laughs> I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say.
I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Growing up in the system was hell. In my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom. So I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. <laughs> in the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. And I couldn't eat for a month. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. It's the other kids get adopted, leave the system, not me. They never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Wouldn't you? After all this time, it's hard not to take it personally. And it just keeps happening. It never stops. Then I look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. Got it all figured out. And I don't. Is that for me? It is now. What is this? A reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. And you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick, obviously, but I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got and how much better I was gonna make it. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. Now it's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. 
It's time to move on. Maybe you're right. I came to Haven, after all. Exactly. That's the first step. Don't forget. I'm here to help you. That's not going to change. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. He was, but... I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan... He told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Eh. Everything is still the same. It's not fun. Why is everything still the same? Just a bit... The, the, the text is a bit different only. What they say, it sucks. Ethan? What? Ethan! Why? Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his miner in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Hmm. Any luck? And touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. Hmm. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have... said something earlier. I didn't... I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah... still, though. 
I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Nope, nope. Definitely nope. Wait, is there something? Like this block one? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? The real monster here is underage drinking. Hey, bro. Want to get wasted at the old mine? <laughs> you don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. Joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're alive. Is that everybody? I need a head count. Jed was terrified, but he kept his cool and saved lives. I guess that's what makes him a hero. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Imagine being trapped down there. Or, actually, don't. It's even rather, it's even rather. Alex, why? Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. You just gotta find him. Fast. He's right. The only thing that matters now is finding Ethan. You blame on me. Everyone is depending on you. Brian won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then <laughs> Typhon closed up this site. Basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. When did she pick up the comic? Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? <laughs> Where did she okay. put this? Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Okay. 
kind of add up the over five. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Damn it. Wait, so did Ethan? There's like a side door back there. I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Have I got some good news for you? Anne? You okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Baby doll? I, I'm pregnant, Jed. Mm. Anne. Jed's wife. Ryan's mom. Where did she go? What? I am not making that choice for you. Have you seen any action movie? <laughs> See? Glad I abstained. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Mm. It was up there. Be careful walking around in here, okay? Noted. <laughs> Ethan must have gone upstairs. It won. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. I find that. Not sure. I'm gonna thing. have a look. There. Uh, in the cafe. One here. The helm. The cr uh, the crack in the wall. Uh, uh, the thing with bike. I got five, yay, I got them all. <gasps> I got them all. I got all the secrets. I got all the secrets. 
Oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay, what's up here? Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt. Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Heads up! You figured out the door! Yeah, turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Why don't you run? Leap. Leap. Leap better. More. <laughs> what took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? In this tile. Hey. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just there. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. <gasps> go, go, go. Quick. Run. We have to do this. <laughs> Ethan! Ethan! What big story is the same? Ethan! Why? Wait. Hold on. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it, it's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. What about me? What about you? Alex? Uh, are you sure? Let's do this. 
Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? Honestly? No. And that feeling makes sense. Do me a favor, though. See if you can breathe. Great. As long as you keep doing that, everything's gonna be fine. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. <laughs> Piece of cake. Let's do this. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. Let's go. Uh, do something now. You got this, Alex. <clears throat> Neither are you. What if you're wrong? Never wrong. down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here. I was so stupid. Okay. Hey, hey focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. I'm not gonna let you fall, okay? Did you see me coming down this log? I'm super balanced. No, 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 no. I can hear it down there. Hear what? Doesn't mm. matter. Just gotta get him out of here. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me! If I move, it'll see me! What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, let's do it. I can do this. I can do this. Feels. 
I'm seeing the world like he sees it. Gordon would it be brave, but he's just a story. This is real. I brought all this stuff. None of it will save me. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. You're headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh, God. Okay. One step at a time. Yeah, buddy. I'm still really scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Do you think the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm. Don't you do this fast. Huh? <laughs> it's going to break. It's going to break. Everything you do is still the same. It sucks. <laughs> Fire. Ethan. Just a little bit different. A little bit. They're good, man. Tight grip. We're close now. That's it. Come on. There you go. Got you.
Ай, брата. Ай, брата. Алекс Ух. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before. Until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh. Okay. And the fifth time, <laughs> he cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world class bullshitter. He was my best friend. I want to 
want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family what happened to his <clears throat> wife then guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me interrupt. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? God, no. I'm a 
fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. It would be fun if you could choose which you one guitar? you want to tell the... Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. It would be cool if they would Gabe make would try to money. pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We... actually kept it. made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Getting dressed shouldn't be so hard. And yet... There's something else.
Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm hmm. Woohoo! Fuck. No, no! You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Oh. Drums. That's easy. Nope. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Woohoo! Let's keep it zero. <laughs> Is it possible? That's <laughs> pure. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. <laughs> I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. 
Certainly not. Yep. <laughs> she can't do this. I can't keep it clear. I can't. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. Oh. <laughs> Are you trying I to distract him. me? Got oh, Of course Yippee. not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. She's just letting me win. time <laughs> okay whoa, whoa, wait let's get serious one more game winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion mm, i don't know oh, come on you know gabe would be all about us playing like this well then it's settled <laughs> this is it for all the marbles so many marbles definitely the kind of game you want to focus on no matter what happens. Totally. No. No. You win. Can I win? Can I win this? <laughs> no. Hey, so are you and the girls or what? Uh, let's do this. <laughs> I'll date anybody. Assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Come on. No! No! Damn it. This is what? I have to win. I have to. I, I have to win. What? Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. God, I have to win. I have to. I have to win. I got to, I got to, got to win. <gasps> See, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, crap. Uh. Uh. Oh, yes. Oof, oof. Foosball champion! God damn! <laughs> Shit, family! Oh. oh! Good game. Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> of course. crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you going to do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac, he's clearly lying, right? No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to prove that he's lying. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye.
I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? What special curse is there with the back now? With the thing. Thing. With the... <laughs> yeah? Okay? Oh, the dog. Wolf. Wolf's one. Do that. The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Something new in this building? In this building? Is this something new? Gabe was such a dad. Gabe really loved this place. You could stay here too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just... time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking... See you around, Steph. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. That would be so cool if they, uh, like, uh, uh make a, uh, I thought this was going to be the one. DLC or Finally, something. Despite all uh, the disappointments, I really let myself believe. That, uh, I believed you well, um, completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. I tell a different Even story. after I freaked out in front of you uh, and hit you, you didn't push me away. Depending on the right choice there, you make, and told me that so I wasn't cool. broken, that I was special, and I belonged. I give died. you. Then I don't know what to believe now. Except you you're gone again. Care. And I'm still here. Um, Alone. Not to tell the, that you have the thing that you can uh, do a whole side quest uh, for your choice that you made or something. We could also make it online that that uh, that more uh, like a multiplayer, and then you uh, you can play up uh, a character, and uh, if they uh, if they. Uh, Pick like a, a 
Tjerke uh, uh, in de online game. Then uh, uh, you can uh, make a uh, follow their story and make your own story, but uh, that they uh, make like a. Uh, if you didn't pick the choice, that you can uh, can like uh, still help, but everything is uh, gray and white because you didn't pick the. Choice. This would be so cool, I think. Wow. Not if Papa, yeah, they won't do it, I think. This would be so cool. It didn't be that high. to start. So long, depression food. If and if you pick like uh, that you uh uh, clean the house or something that you uh, get work uh, uh, for that thing and that you can clean other uh, people's uh, buildings and uh, or uh, if you choose a bar that you can work at the bar and still do uh, shit, like, uh, with the powers and all, would be so cool. See? I can be a person. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Oh wait, did that do everything? to toast at the moment. It could also be like that they made a multiplayer. Um... I've spent enough time up here the last few days. It's time uh, to get the truth. They make it single player, but you can choose to make it uh, multi uh, uh, co-op that you can play together. 
uh, you can choose to pay, play together, but uh, that you see everything uh, black and white, so you can still help with uh, with the uh, with the other player story, but. Uh, and and you still have to do your own shit, but uh, that is in color then how you see it. That that could also be uh, possible. They won't do that. I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if Ryan hadn't cut that rope. I bet he will too. This town has a long memory. Guess it's nice to know that Gabe won't be forgotten. more like it. <laughs> oh, like that. I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said, she said, you're exactly what these mountains need. Bye, Mom. But Gabe would be up here a lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. Is that Jed without his beard?
Okay. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check like right now. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. Um what what did I have to do about it? Oh yeah. This is perfect for the memory it's not table. Lefty. Ultimate foosball champion. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. I have something to add to Gabe's table. <laughs> it would also be cool to, uh, to go like uh, to uh, to uh, uh, other uh, to uh, other uh, places like uh, uh like uh, life is strange one and two that you can uh that you can uh that uh, all the games are connected or something RM and TB. I wonder who they were. They look happy together. song missing that's too bad Sitting there, standing there. Hey, why is he standing there? 
Pick? Is this a pick? I'm a pick. Hey! <laughs> it's a pick. He's standing there. Let's, let's uh, get the blood. Oh, hey, get kid, you don't have to do that. Pick. Too late. Is she still there? Is she still there? Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. Thanks, Jed. But it wasn't your fault. Max started it. Yeah, but I didn't exactly stop it, though, either, did I? I'm sure Gabe would have been happy that we had it here. I could tell he really loved this place. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. <laughs> this is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to Earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. And instead of uh, all the re remakes, if they like uh, uh, make uh, uh, all the uh, all the games uh, connected that they. Ugh. <laughs> that they um, 
uh, let uh, all the games be connected and make everything uh, still make everything upgraded but just to make uh, uh, the game prettier and uh, uh, also um, uh, that the uh, uh, player can pick uh, which uh, character he wants to he or she wants to do the uh, game with and, uh, that you can pick between uh, Max and uh, uh, Beth and uh, and that they all keep their own powers but they can all do something different with the power Like, uh, like uh, she that uh, that she can just uh, uh, do the mind thing, and next uh, still the rewind uh, rewind thing, but. Uh, that they can uh, interact with the same item, but that they uh, do something different with it. Or see something different. With okay, it. Jed said I might Hold find on. Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. It will be so cool. Oh, but you heard about the accident. They won't do that. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. I wonder if I am dreaming. Mm. Everything feels so strange now. Yeah. Under the sun sky. I wonder if there's still meaning in all the things I'm feeling. Should I say? Take me back to when things 
We will go to Mexico. Together. Steph and uh, Steph and uh, I don't know. It's gonna be uh, a vote or something. Alex. Oh, the, the the brothers are also there. Oh, Max is also there. I think in a kind of way. What's that? I don't know why, but the park looks fun to explore. Hmm. Wow, why am I so tired? I will continue tomorrow. Continue tomorrow. I will continue tomorrow. Uh, where is it? Oh dear, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. 